Welcome to the lesson, Volume with Aunt Jane, Part 1. This lesson assumes that the students know how to calculate the volume of a box. In this lesson, the students are tasked with calculating volumes of structures that are not boxes, but with some imagination, they can be turned into a box. Our goal in this lesson is both to practice calculating areas of boxes and also to promote imagination and flexible thinking. Let's move on to the first example. The questions are presented in the framework of a story. Let's read it. When Ruth and John came to visit their Aunt Jane, they found the following structure in front of her house and next to it a note. Find the number of cubes in the structure and type it into the keypad on the entrance door. What is this number? What is this number? As we see, the question is presented in terms of number of cubes. And in class, you can transfer this meaning into the volume of the structure. Volume in terms of unit cubes. Now, it's interesting to see what the students will do here. They could, of course, simply count the cubes. They could divide the shape in different ways. For example, this column is the same as this column, but there is one interesting way that we are aiming for here. And if the students don't see it, you may give them a hint with the scribble tool. We'll go ahead and mark these four cubes and point to this empty area. Well, these fit neatly over here. In the same way, after this hint, we believe some students will see what we're aiming at and continue the process. This ear, as we could call it, fits in here, and these three cubes fit in here. If you think it's necessary, you may also move to Erase Cube Mode and erase these four cubes and move to Add Cube and place them in here. Though you don't have to do this, you may let the student's imagination work. The goal is to get a shape that its number of cubes is much easier to calculate. So we get a box of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven times seven is 49. Now for your convenience, we have the solution on the next page. See, the cubes we moved around are painted purple, and here we can see their new placement and the calculation. Let's continue. Ruth and John typed 49 on the keypad and entered Aunt Jane's house. The door was locked behind them. Five structures were inside the room. They found another note. Find the number of cubes in each structure and type the sum of the five numbers into the keypad of the next door. Try to find elegant ways to count the cubes. Let's see this worksheet to be printed out for the students. And here it is. In a similar way to the example we showed, it's possible to imagine the given structures being cut and the pieces being put back together to form a box. Now, only in the fifth and largest structure do we get a situation where after reordering the cubes, there will still be one cube missing from the box. This, of course, does not hinder the calculation. We simply subtract one at the end. Now note that in all these structures, all cubes are visible. They can also be manipulated to form boxes with a depth of one. And in the next part of the lesson, this will no longer be the case. Not all cubes will be visible, and the boxes to be formed won't necessarily have a depth of one. Make sure the students understand the instructions. Write the number of cubes in each structure, and the final code is the sum of these five numbers. Let's move back to the app and review these shapes. And here's the first shape. The format of the class discussion is similar for each structure. A student proposes a solution, and we can use the scribble button to help illustrate it. In this case, these two parts can be cut off. Their sum is six, and they fit nicely down here. If you want, you can erase the cubes here and recreate them here. Or you could use the Mark Face tool where we mark faces like this, whatever you feel is necessary in your class. On the next page, we will always show the solution. 
And here we get a five by five structure. So the volume is 25. And next. Here we can see that these cubes can be folded in here. As usual, of course, we hope the students notice this. And these cubes fit in the corners. And we will get a structure of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by four. So the volume is 28. And we see this here. Now this shape looks very three-dimensional, and it's more challenging to imagine how we take it apart and then flatten it. Well, the answer is to cut this part off and make sure that it fits here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and so on. And we can see this in the solution. We get a box of five by six, so the volume is 30. And next. Now in this robot style shape, we can almost hear these four arms folding down. And then the head has to move here. Let's see the solution. And we get a box of six by six by one. Six times six is 36. And now for the final structure. Let's use the mark face tool. These two cubes fit in here. These two cubes fit here. These two fit in here. And these six will fit here. Let's solve this one manually. We'll erase these two and place them here. Erase these two and place them here. Erase these six and place them here. And erase these and place them here. So we have 11 by 7, which is 77 minus 1. It gives us 76. And let's see the solution here. Now the students just have to add up 76, 36, and the numbers of all the questions. And this is the code. Let's move on to the final page of the lesson. So the sum turns out to be 195. Well, Ruth and John typed 195 and the door opened. What did they see behind the door? This will be continued in the next part of the lesson. See you soon.